so the slow sheet lesson I did has got a really great response, which is very, very, very fun to see. And I've gotten some questions regarding this drumming pattern, so I thought I would go through it here today. Uh, but I won't go through it in exact detail, but rather I will give you like the general understanding on how John approached uh, this drumming pattern, and then you can kind of take it from there. So yeah, with that said, let's jump right into it. So we start off by going through the chords, which are relative to the cape on the 6th fret, A minor. And we also have the A sus 2, which we get by locating the flat 3 on the B string, and reducing that one semitone to a uh, 2 interval. A sus 2. Uh, and also C major and G major. And uh, the first pattern starts uh, on the a sus 2 chord, but before I teach you the pattern, I want you to really <laughs> teach you the fundamentals. So what I want you to do is to move your hand like this and, you know, up and down but not hitting the strings. And what you're doing now really is ghost drums, so you don't hit the strings but you move uh, your hand. And then I want you to hit the strings on the downstroke, but only every other downstroke, so you get this. Now that is very, very different from doing this. Because you have way better feel when you do it like this. And I think this, <laughs> this difference here is like the main uh, important thing to take away from this lesson. So yeah, we start out with uh, doing downstroke every other uh, downstrum. And then every downstrum. Then up and down. Up. Uh, and you know that little exercise there is really really good uh, to uh, nail this song really because what we will do next is really just a combination of these uh, <laughs> different patterns combining them in different ways uh, so yeah now I think we can go through the first pattern that transition from the verse that you do the finger picking in to the chorus uh, which you know we play like that. So that transition that is what I will go through now. And um, we start off with doing that uh, down strum but only every other strum and we do that two times so we get so that is how we start off. And then we have this pattern where we play down and then up up and then down down and then you have you know your ghost when you do upstrokes you have your ghost downstrokes and when you do downstrokes you have your ghost upstrokes that might sound confusing but all i really mean is this so you notice that down and up and then goes down and up and then down goes up and down goes up so so that combined you, what you get is And then when he transition, he typically do this uh, fast, uh, or not fast really, but just uh, down up thing. So, and then on the next down strum, you repeat the pattern that we started with. So that pattern, you know. So if we combine everything we got so far, uh, we have this. And then after that, what you do is a down strum where we focus on the lower strings, uh, followed by two up strokes. And then we do that one more time. Uh, and then when we transition to the chorus, we do the same thing as we did in the last transition, so you know, down up. And then on the next down strum, we do the transition to the next quarter. Like that. So that whole uh, pattern from the verse to the chorus, what we got is slowly. And then faster. Like that. And now we can move on to the uh, chorus or main part of the chorus, and it has that, uh, you know, Danny California kind of pattern uh, when it comes to the strumming, you know. 
know, like that. So <laughs> not those chords, but you know that uh, right hand pattern. So what you do is you hit the lower strings uh, twice and down drums. And also notice that I lift up my fingers with my left hand uh, to mute the strings between the two down uh, drums. And I do have that open D, G string here that will ring out, but I am not too bothered by that really, so <laughs> I think it's fine. Um, and then we hit the whole chord. And then same pattern for the D chord. And then we land on the ASOS too, where we do a pattern. Uh, so what we got so far is... But you notice there's something missing there, and you want, kind of want to add a little bit of dirt or transition between the chord and what you do really is down up uh, as usual uh, but with open strings so like this like that and you kind of want to be mindful of <laughs> how you strum those open transition uh, <laughs> strings there so you don't want to play too loudly like <laughs> like that so yeah, just kind of feel into it so, so you get something like like that. And then for when we get to this chord, we start off as we did before, you know, that every other down strum thing. And then we do that up and down, up and down thing uh, for a quite long time. And uh, we also add the index finger here to create the A minor chord and then release it again to the A sus 2 chord. Um, while doing that down up down up down up down up uh, thing so what we get is and then we move back to the C chord so yeah slowly the chorus is And uh, when we want to jump out of the chorus, you know, John does it differently each time. First time is quite short, then the second time is longer, and then the last time it's even longer. Uh, but now I kind of focus on the second time. And what he does to end the second chorus is quite similar to how we <laughs> got into the chorus. So we start off with this, these two down drums, every other down drum <laughs> pattern. Uh, and then we do this pattern that we have already learned. And then we also do the transition that we have already learned down up. So uh, if we put that together what we got so far is. And after that what it does is two down strums uh, focusing on the lower strings. And then he do two up strokes. And then alternate between doing uh, a down strum on the lower strings and two up strokes. So we get. But another thing to add is that he uh, play the lower uh, notes on the down strum quite soft, and uh, he does the up strokes really hard. So, and then end with a down strum on the whole chord. <laughs> so yeah, the the whole uh, transition from the chorus to. Um, back to the verse goes like this slowly and then faster so if we put everything we have learned together slowly what we got is
And I can end by saying that in the ending there, the end of the strumming, what it does there is that pattern that we have already learned, you know. That pattern, and he combines that with down strums. You know, like that. Uh, and it's <laughs> kind of random uh, how he alternates between these two. So I guess it's a good exercise for you to listen to that outro there in the original song and uh, learn it by ear, that pattern, if you want to get it down precisely. Or you can, <laughs> like I do, just wing it. <laughs> so yeah, super cool that you made it all the way to this part of the video. And yeah, thank you very much for watching and please let me know what you thought and I see you in the next one.